Welcome to Shaping Generations with Dr. Simon Mubao. Now imagine you are on a journey. You are trying to achieve something in life. And things don't seem right. You are so tired of doing something to a point that now I just want to die. I just want to die. My time has arrived. I just want to die and be put to death. Today we are facing many problems of mental illness with many people committing suicide around the world because of the various problems they go through. Some out of rejection, some because they are jobless, some because things don't just seem right, afraid of every situation, disappointment through the relationships because their marriage is not going well, so many problems overtaking people's lives. And a similar situation is going in the life of Elijah. Where he says, well, if, if I stay within the city, then I will be killed. So what good is my life? But here is a very good situation. The Lord understands us. He understands our hearts. When we, we complain and when we are looking for something, he knows us very well. So at a time when Elijah is praying, yes, he is very tired. Secondly, he is very hungry. And out of these two things, when he says he's hungry and then he is tired, he concludes that I am powerless. My life is completely in a mess. And he prays that he dies. So, out of loss of such energy, he fell asleep under a tree. Then suddenly, an angel touched him and said, get up and eat. Now imagine this guy, he is sleeping, he says he's powerless, he says nothing is working, he goes to sleep, then an angel of the Lord sent by God says, get up, it's time to eat. And the man eats, and he looked around, It's a cake and bread which was baked. And the second time, the angel of the Lord returned and touched him again and said, Get up and eat. Oh, the journey will be very long for you. Now, just look at the situation. This guy is complaining of fear of everything. And then the response from the Lord is, Get up and eat. Sometimes the situations that we feel we have, we hide them behind the veil and begin to talk about something different. But the Lord knows. So the Lord knows that why he is saying he wants to die. This, 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 this dude <coughs> is just hungry. Let me give him food. So he gave him food. That's all. And he didn't even pray this prayer again of dying. How often have you sat down and prayed the wrong prayer? No, I want to commit suicide because things are not just right with me. And the Lord says, no, come on. That's not what you want to do. All you need is a job. And the Lord opens the door for you. All you need is this. So we need to be sensitive to what God is saying in our lives. So after eating, the Bible says that in verse 8, he was strengthened by that food and he walked 40 days and 40 nights until he reached Horeb, the mountain of God. Then when he entered the cave, the Lord asked him, what are you doing here, Elijah? Imagine, you are running after your life. 
You do not even know why you are running away. So what the Lord teaches us is that you have to understand, you have to, to live a life full of purpose. You need to understand. So he says, why are you here? He's not even mentioning that I've come to die. Because that's what, that was what, what his prayer was. But because the Lord fed him, he said, oh, you're no, you're no longer hungry. So why are you do, what, what are you doing here? What are you here for? Then his answer quickly in verse 10 says, I have been very zealous for the Lord, the God of hosts, he replied. But the Israelites have forsaken your covenant, torn down your orders, and killed your prophets with the sword. I am the only one left, and they are seeking my life as well. Then the Lord said, Go out and stand on the mountain before the Lord. Behold, the Lord is about to pass. So they say, okay, you have put your case, you have run away, you are afraid, and you are here, but you go and stand by the mountain of the Lord. So that you hear well, how God speaks, and how God appears, and how God manifests. <laughs>